Hello everyone, this is Talha Rehan and today I'll be talking about Sybase IQ external loader with power center. We'll see uh, overview and configuration of this external loader. So we'll have uh, this agenda for this presentation. We'll see uh, overview of this uh, of, of Sybase external loader and then we'll see the configuration details followed by the connection requirements and we'll see how we can troubleshoot some issues with Sybase uh, IQ external loader and then we'll have a small demonstration on how, how, how we can use this external loader for Sybase IQ uh, for, for using Sybase IQ external loader we should have its interactive SQL client and its supporting libraries should to be installed on the same machine as where we run uh, Informatica integration service. So uh, to do this we have two options. Either we can have integration service, DBI SQL, the interactive client and the Sybase IQ server on the same machine or we can have integration service and DBI SQL on the same machine and we can have Sybase IQ on a remote machine. So this diagram depicts how we can have Informatica Integration Service, DBI SQL and Sybase IQ server on the same machine. With this setup you can have uh, load performance to be faster and you can load into Sybase IQ to, to, to achieve that the output files are used by IQ loader and they are targeted into a directory on the same machine and this particular configuration is easily configurable and we can also use a staged flat file or we can use a pipe to load data into Sybase IQ loader we'll see how we can do that and this is the other option we have we can keep Informatica integration service and Sybase DBI SQL client on one machine and we can have Sybase IQ server on a remote machine so for Informatica to write the staging file we should have a common mount either NFS or SAN mount where both the machines can access the Informatica integration service as well as the Sybase IQ server we don't have an option to use a, a, a pipe to load data into a, a Sybase IQ in this case now uh, we'll see how it works so Informatica designed Sybase IQ external loader to do the following first it generates a file containing a load table statement and this file has an extension .ctl then after that the data which is to be loaded into Sybase IQ either it is uh, either Informatica moves out the data to a file or an, uh, a pipe and then finally it calls DBI SQL client to load data according to the generated load table statement in, in, in our small demonstration we'll see how, how this works so these are some connection requirements for using IQ external loader the DBI SQL utility it must be installed on the same machine as power center integration service so the, the, the host where integration service is running in the same machine we should have this DBI SQL installed and integration service must run with the environment variable set in order to use DBI SQL the path and the lib path should be set accordingly the integration service must, ab must be able to write the control and output files to directory on the same machine as the target Sybase IQ server by this wha what we mean is that, that the particular directory where integration service writes control and the output file should be accessible from the from the IQ server and Sybase IQ server string or truncation option must be disabled now to use an IQ external loader we have to create a loader connection of, of types of type Sybase IQ external loader so we'll see what all these configurations in this connection definition are so first of all we have to provide name for this connection any any name you can choose and then type username and password and they are blank you cannot edit them and then in in the connect string uh, in, the, in, the, in the in the connect string parameter we have to specify 
the connect string to connect to Sybase IQ uh, uh, DB server. So, as you can see, an example we will we'll demonstrate how how we can uh, we, we can provide the connect string. We can give we, we have to give uh, user ID, password, and then you have to give the server name, and the host name, and the port number. We'll show uh, we'll show a, a, a sample connection so that it, it's more clear. And then we have to specify the block factor, the block size. Bl block factor is for the fixed width fl uh, flat file targets, and then block size is for delimited flat file targets. And then we can specify the checkpoint so that <coughs> excuse me so that it issues a checkpoint after successfully loading the table. If it is disabled, the DB won't issue any checkpoint. And then we have notify interval. It's the number of rows for the Sybase IQ external loader to load before it writes a status message to the external loader log. So we, we, we generate a log for this external loader where you can see the status and the error of the, the, the procedure wherein the data is loaded to Sybase IQ. And then we have server directory, which is a folder wherein Intramatica would write the control file and the output file. And that directory should be accessible by a Sybase IQ server. So either it can be on the same machine or it can be an NFS or a, a SAN mount. Uh, one more thing we need to take care is that the user which is running integration service should have write permissions onto this directory and then we have path to external loader executable which means the path to dbi sql client and this ex executable executable path you can specify in in this in, in in this field and one last option we have is is staged so when this attribute is enabled integration service writes data to a flat file which is a flat file with an extension dot out. So first integration service writes all the data to this target file and then it invokes the DBI SQL client to load data into target uh, IQ server. So, so far we have seen the connection details and the connection parameter requirements for creating uh, connection in power center to an IQ external loader. Now, after we try uh, try out uh, using external loader, th these are few things which we can use to troubleshoot the issues. For example, first we can see what is the uh, log. And then we can see what is the IQ loader log in, in the output directory. Also, we can use DBI SQL client outside power center using command line and give the same options and the same control file to see how it works. This way we can verify if it is working outside power center or not. We can also modify the load table statements it is a statement which is created by power center integration service. So how we do is like after we run the session it, it generates a control file which has a load table statement. We modify that file and then revoke the ed edit permissions we have we, we keep that file read only for the integration service user so that next runs of the same session won't modify that file so we can specify a row delimiter there we can specify default values we can handle null values and empty strings there and we can handle date formats okay so now now we'll see a small demonstration how we can use this Sybase IQ external loader to load into a target and here in here we have, we'll have a simple flat file source from where we'll read and then load data into in, 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 in the ta target IQ database so this is the mapping we have it, it has a flat file source and a target of type Sybase now we look over look at our power center session so here we have created a target connection of type loader and then here are the configuration as you can see we have specified the connect string 
it has user ID password it has the server name and the host name and the port number and then you have the block size here we have specified the server directory and the external loader executable and I have selected is stage because we are not using pipe as of now as our uh, uh, IQ server is in a remote machine so only if the IQ server is the same machine as integration service we can use named pipes so now we'll execute this session as you can see this particular workflow has completed now we'll go and check at the backend if the data is loaded so here, here we can see we queried the same table as we loaded data into and we can see the data is populated there so so th th this is pretty much the demonstration of cyber psycho external loader if you have any queries or any questions you can post in the comments and thank you so much for your time